Hi, this is Asin. Today I'd like to share how to compute the index of qualitative variation. As the name stated, qualitative. This index is used to measure the variation for a qualitative variable. So if the data of the variable is distributed evenly across all the categories meaning to say have the same level of number of occurrences among all the categories then this will achieve a maximum level of possible differences which is iqv equal to one if the data is central or focused on only one category then we will achieve a minimum level of IQV which is equal to zero as we can see no difference at all everything central or group into only a one particular category as we can see when the data is get getting gathered or centered to only a few or a particular group then the value getting lower please bear in mind that the sequence of the data or the arrangement of the category is actually not important what's important here is actually the number of occurrences as we will use proportion of percentage to calculate okay let's see the formula so as we can see we can have like if let's say we prefer proportion then we can use the proportion formula if we prefer percentage we can use the percentage formula if we are using proportion then here should be using one because maximum or total probability should be equal to one so here will be one and here will be one one times anything will be get back the same thing so the one can be ignored so if let's say we are using percentage total percentage should be 100 then this part will change to percentage instead of one so we let's try for proportion method so both of them actually will get the same result we just try for proportion okay so let's say we have a sales volume a sales of the same product at different area so the sales volume is recorded over the five days here in different area what we want to do is check the variation we compare the variation between the two areas so based on the calculation what we have to do here is first obtain the proportion for each category it means that the number of occurrences for each category so for example like first we have to total everything when we total the sales volume we should get this value so what we have to do for monday to check the proportion then we take 131 or 131 divided by the total which is 723 then we obtain 0 0.1811 and so on so what we have to do is square it so we square then we get the square proportion then we repeat the same step for all the category then after that we total up all the probabilities here so let's say we want our answer to be accurate so what we have to do here we can actually store the value so the answer we obtain we just store into for example like capital A so already store so after that we repeat the same step then we store in b c d e and so on so after gather the total so what we have to do we just plug the value into the formula that we have then what is k k is the number of categories that we have so all together we have one two three four five five category so we will use 5 then times total proportion is 1 so 1 minus 
Okay, then P square, so the total P square we have 0 0.22651. So if let's say we have we want to achieve the highest possible of accuracy, then we use all the store value plus together, then we'll just have to put the plus answer here. If let's say we take five to six decimal places over here, then actually the answer is quite accurate. So k minus 1, k is 5 minus 1. So we will obtain the variation for this data set. Then we repeat the same thing for the second set of data. Then after that, we just have to compare the value. So as we can see here, the sales volumes differences in areas A is 0.9680. 686 or equivalent to 96.686% of the maximum possible differences which is lower than what we have for the aerial B so meaning to say aerial B the number of sales volumes is actually more variable because the value is actually higher okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like it see you